You know that I could use somebody. Hey guys, so today I am going to be filming my March favourites on time and with quite a lot to talk about. Um, so I'm just going to get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is two foundations actually. The first one is my Maybelline uh, Pure Mineral Erase one, which I believe I talked about last time. I still really like this foundation. I am wearing it today and I know I said I'd do a review about it, but I'm lazy so I haven't, so I'm sorry. So I, I will do one if you guys really want me to, but I really like this foundation. Um, it applies really smoothly. So yeah. That foundation. The other foundation I've been really liking this month, which is a bit of a surprise for me because I tried it last summer and I was sure it was really like breaking me out. Um, but it's my L'Oreal True Match foundation, and this is meant to change to the colour of your skin, which I don't think it does, but I still like it as a foundation. So that's that one. I've been wearing that quite a lot to school. Um, then continuing with face products, the next thing I want to talk about is this Revlon highlighting powder and it comes with three colours um, it has like a white and then kind of like a bronzy-ish colour in the middle and then like a creamy colour on the bottom um, if you can see that there so I've just been swiping that across the top of my cheekbones and as you can see it gives like a really nice kind of glowy sheen which is nice for spring and then two blushes I've really been liking are the Can Make Blush, which I talked about in my last haul video. And this is in the colour, I don't know, number two. It just looks like this. If you want to see swatches, I did them in my uh, beauty haul video. And then the second blush I've really been liking is my Maybelline Pure Mineral Blush in Rose. And I wore this in my school makeup look, and I really like this one. It's kind of more of an orangey colour, so I quite like that. The next thing I want to talk about is this Maybelline um, Eye Studio Lasting Shine Gel Shadow. And this is in the dark brown shade, which is brand number one, and it just looks like this. And basically on days when I can't be bothered to do my makeup, or if I'm in a rush, I will just take this and put it all over my lids kind of blend it out it just gives this like really nice bronzy look which I really like all over it can be a bit dark for me sometimes because I think I suit like lighter makeup um, but it's good for you know just when I'm in a rush then mascara wise I have been absolutely loving um, the Colossal Volume which I used also in my tutorial I'm wearing it today if you can see but I just, I, it's so black and it does wonders for my lashes, so I absolutely love it. Then, uh, oh, brush wise, I know I don't normally talk about brushes, but um, this brush I've been really liking. It's just from the Kirkland Christmas gift set series. Mine's a bit warped. Um, but I've been using this to apply my blush, and it's really soft and it's really small, so that you can take it in your bag and it's really good. So I really like this. And then lip gloss wise, I've been falling in love with my NYX lip glosses again and I don't know what the colour is because my stick has fallen off I think this is sugar pie but it's just like this really nice neutral um and if you can see it there it's really sheer so it's you know just like a yeah and then the other one I've been really liking is this one by Yves Saint Laurent and it's actually what I'm wearing right now so it's like this really nice it's a bit glittery, but it's this really pretty light frosty pink colour. And I just really like it. I just think it's really pretty for spring and I really like it because I tend to like wearing pale colours on my lips. Nail polish wise, I haven't really been wearing that much. At the moment I am wearing this colour. Which colour am I wearing? This colour here by 17 and it is in the colour pink grapefruit and I actually really like it I think it's a nice pinky orange it's not too hot pink um, and I've just started my um, Easter holiday so I've been you know cracking out the loud n nail polish and then the last thing I want to talk about is this Bastise shampoo uh, shampoo dry shampoo I 
love dry shampoo. I don't wash my hair every day, I wash it every other day just because it's better for it but my hair does get kind of oily especially as I play with my fringe a lot because it's always in my face. So um, dry shampoo is my favourite and this is the floral and flirty blush one. I do have this one here which is still full um, and it's the Big and Bouncy XXL volume but I do not like when dry shampoos have volumising because it just makes your hair really sticky and I just don't think it works so I'm never going to be buying one of these again I do not like them um, yeah I just prefer regular dry shampoos so yeah that was my March favourites hopefully that was relatively quick um, I was going to film a really fun video for you this week about how to make your own face mark from cocoa powder and coffee but I never didn't have a chance to do it because it was really hectic last week of school so hopefully yeah. Also, I'm going to England on Thursday, so I'm going to be doing lots of shopping, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.